manually operable. Yeah, but if you if if you guys see anything else that I'm missing, also, feel free to tell me. Although again, it's pretty well hidden in a lot of places. So we just operate this until it's facing downward. And then we can swim straight through it. I was kind of wondering if there was like a treasure sitting on one of these side things, but it doesn't look like it. There we go. I think this will allow us to climb through both of them. Swim any water in my days. None as cold as this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's grab our sewage propulsion system. Oh, wrong way. Reverse. So this is where we found the first, the treasure we did find, we found it around this corner in here. So that means we're probably not going to find the first two since it looks like we've already missed them. But no point in trying it. No point in not trying, so we're gonna go around here just in case. Is that a grenade, or is that actually a piece of treasure? Oh! It is one! It's a ladle! Nice! Oh, but this is actually after the one that we found beforehand, so... But we can swim in here and try and find some more, so let's try that. It seems like, oh wow, we can't go through the door. It seems like a lot of these in on this level are probably hidden underwater in like nooks and cram, like crevices and stuff like that. And they're very, I don't know, very hard to spot, I guess. I think the one we found was in here. Right at the end down here. So it shouldn't be here anymore. Yeah, it's not. BRB, all right, Eakin. See you in a bit. Thanks for coming by and hanging out, man. Alright. Let's swim down here just in case. And then let's go raise the water level so we can swim our beautiful piece of machinery through this tunnel. This is also where we found the second Enigma piece. Which is, uh... Not ideal, because it means that the Enigma piece... Ooh, wait, maybe it is in here. Oh, we almost had that one. Got it. Health upgrade, nice. So that, I think that cleans out, yeah. The one health grade upgrade, and then we also got the character. No Enigma piece, though, but that's fine. So our health is getting really high. It's at 170, which was is close to the maximum beforehand. Look for some mechanism to fill the basin with water. It will have to be all the way to the top for you to swim across. The mechanism is in here. It's possible that the Enigma piece is in here as well, so we want to keep our eye out. What was that? Oh. Bomb raid on Berlin. A RAV bomb raid damaged multiple residential quarters in central Berlin last night. The raid caused large fires 
with some witnesses describing a sea of flames engulfing several houses. Earlier reports indicate that a dozen civilians have been killed and scores have more badly injured. Scores more badly injured. Several people have also been reported as missing after shelter, seeking shelter from the bombs. It's kind of cool how they've done like the reversal of roles, whereas like the U.S. is the terrorist. Uh, with seeking democracy and marketing and all that. Oh, maybe there might be something up there with that. So we'll make sure to swim over there the next time. Like when we fill this up with water. So there was an Enigma piece right there. And that's the one we've already gotten in this area. Cool, cool. And we also found a pistol right there, which was nice. Oh, here's the map. Hmm. So this should actually show us where all the collectibles are, which may, may mean we've already found all the collectibles in this area. All the non-health related or armor related collectibles. So like it's not going to show this. But it would show something of value. Where is our glider? There it is. It's interesting that it stays underwater when it says to float. I think this is the correct way. I believe so. Yeah, there's the safe down there. Go ahead and swim in here. Um, this is where we found the enigma the last time, but I want to go through here just to make sure we're not missing anything. Looks good. Yeah, it was just sitting right there. Can we get up here? Oh, it doesn't look like it. I think we might have to go over it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, under it. Not over it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's strange. There we go. It was just bugged a little bit. It wasn't quite getting there. Well done, William. This is as far as the tunnel glider will Aww. take you. I hate to leave the tunnel glider. The, the tunnel glider. Have to swim. The catacombs are close. All right. Get all. Page eleven. Swam across Forney Lake on a bed. For ten soldiers. It wasn't as dark as this. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Tunnel Glider. So now we're going to blow the wall up. Because we can. Oh, there's another one we can use. Interesting, I even... I bet this gives us something hidden. Let's go to the surface though before we die. Whoa, weird. Huh. It actually drifted into the tunnel. There it goes. Oh, this does give us something hidden. It'll bust those bars up right there. Nice. So that's definitely something we didn't do last time, which will... There's another Enigma piece. This is the, the third one, so we're, we definitely missed the first one somewhere. I don't know where it was, but... 
This is a lock we picked last time as uh, Wyatt on the Wyatt timeline where we had the lock picking capability. This time we don't have the lock picking capability. Weird. So he blasted a hole right there. I wonder if we had to do this this go round because we couldn't pick that lock. It does seem like a possibility. I'm gonna look around here for some treasure, as we usually do. Actually, this is the... Oh, that's the exit we took last time. Let's see what's through here. It could be something cool. Age 32. Swam the cesspools beneath Death's Head's Axe Labs. But it wasn't as dirty as this. I always expect items to be shoved in these little side things. Guess not, though. It sounds like we were 32 when we initially got caught. Oh, nice. Another enigma piece. Another enigma piece. Only two more to go. One in this area. One that we're actually going to be able to find. Whoa, shit. Oh, this is where we would have swum up if we had gone the normal route. I almost want to go down there and see what's up with that. Let's do it. For science. That looks like we'll die if we go down it, so we're not going to do that, though. Huh. Just randomly went under this whole area. Be nice if the last uh, Enigma piece was... Ah, there it is. Alright, so that means we have all of them for this level, except for that darn first one that we somehow missed. Which kind of sucks, but it's also okay. Life will go on. And there's another treasure piece. It even I don't even know if it showed a... Yeah, it did show a fourth one. So these first two and this one right here, we just somehow skipped over. Weird. Is this the way out? I think it is the way out. There we go. <laughs> oh cool, we just went under and came back up right next to where we were at. Uh, is there a recharging station in here? Doesn't look like it, okay. Onward. Yeah, <laughs> why'd you table throw? <laughs> What's, what's tilting you, Jasper? You are now inside the Sensible <laughs> Depot. This is the second phase of the plan to gain access to Set's underwater safe keep. In this munition stock there is a cargo train. The train is packed full. Small arms, artillery shells, torpedoes and such for distribution to the Nazi war machine. You will steal this train. Nice. Small arms we can use to strengthen our fighters, but the real target is securing the torpedo delivery. This will allow you to board and seize control of a Nazi U-boat. The first thing... Ooh, we got throwing knives and, uh, um... Upgrade. Lock the train and drive it to their banded underground... Let's check laser... The Tesla. You can upgrade the Tesla unit. This unit... Alters the beam's frequency to affect any mechanical targets close to it. Oh, cool. Okay, so if we have it on this, it'll affect mechanical units. Alright, so let's recharge again before we leave. This part could be fairly difficult on this setting. We're gonna have to be very careful. We do have a single throwing knife, which is good. I'm gonna keep our silenced pistol out. One down. Chill. Oh, did he actually set the alarm off? I think he did. Ah, 
Yep, there it goes. Hmm, do I want to reset or not? Let's check uh let's check our perks real quick. I might reset this one area because I think we're still trying to get assassination perks on people. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Because we, we can get a lot of throwing knife perks by doing this. By save scumming. We just need to wait to kill that guy before we kill uh, we need to kill some of the guards patrolling first. And I think to do that we're gonna go all the way around to the right and slowly make our way forward. Like here. This is probably our best option. Oh, there's a guard. We also need to be careful who we can see because unlike in games like Dishonored, you can't drag their bodies. And so if you kill them, um, they can be seen by other guards. And that's actually what set the alarm off last time. Although, it is important to note that them yelling super loudly doesn't trigger the, the guards. Which is kind of funny. Nice. That should be all of them. Alright, we're going to go through and make sure we kill all of the existing guards that are out here because when we trigger that it's going to trigger a fight uh, which is a bit difficult we should have gotten them all already so now we're just going to loot make sure we have full everything i know there's several crates around here that we can open with this All armor, though, so far, which is kind of a bummer. There we go. Nice. Ammo. Let's get our assault rifle out as our secondary. And let's keep smashing boxes. And it would have been nice to have that beforehand. Because we there's a perk we need to get um, by assassinating people with overcharged health. This is really nice because it will allow us to sustain through this round a lot easier. Uh, with more ammo that we have access to. armor or ammo and we're maxed out cool let's check these last two boxes over here and then we'll we'll trigger the the fight nothing in that one health overcharge okay let's charge our gun and then trigger the fight Oh, actually, there is one place we forgot to loot. So we're going to do that real quick. I believe we get another assault rifle here. Yeah. So we're going to dual wield these. There was an Enigma piece in here as well. Oh, and another throwing knife. That'll be helpful. Alright, let's trigger it. Actually, this one may not trigger the fight. It may be... Oh, shit, shit, let go!
Oh, okay, so we need to run immediately. As soon as we see that. Um, either that or have our laser craft gun out and then shoot it with that. Because those things destroy us. We had 170 health and it ate through it and almost no Oh come on. It puts us all the way back here. Oh damn it. <laughs> oh <laughs> that's an awful save point. Damn, man. Especially after we did all of that looting, too. That's rough. We're probably just gonna skip that looting this time, unfortunately. Managed to get a headshot, which was really fortunate. Otherwise, he probably would have kept walking down, and it sounded like he saw us as well. I think that is all of them. There's another throwing knife in here as well, and some more ammo. Okay, let's uh, let's get our craft workout. Where do we? Oh, we picked up our throwing knife. Okay, so we're gonna trigger this and then immediately. There it goes. Okay. Immediately untrigger it. And this weapon is way better against those guys than any other weapon. We do need armor, though. It's weird that he only dropped that amount of armor. Normally they drop quite a lot. Oops. We meant, to, we meant to pick up the gun there. We, all, we also get a shotgun here that's not very useful in the situation that we are put in. Which is kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and recharge our health as full as we can. Along with the armor as well. Drop that for now. Oh, nice. Grenades. Okay, these will be helpful as well. Wait, more grenades? Oh, just health. Somewhere. Ooh. Ah, there it is. Just slightly down. Go to go and open that up. That way you can run through there in a second. I think there are more enemies up here that aren't alerted yet. Possibly. <clears throat> Possibly not as well. Not sure. I think there was either an item in here. Oh, there's a shotgun. But we can come in here to shoot people, so we might do that. There may be a guard right in there. We'll have to see. Nope, no. As soon as we trigger this one, however, we will trigger the fight. Beep! Our ground team is in position by the abandoned train station north of your location, William. They will miss you when you get there. What is that? Oh, that's ammunition. Alright, 
So there's going to be a fairly large fight here. We're going to try and... Manage the aggro carefully. These guys don't do almost any damage from this height. 